just want my daughter to get treated right. Um, she can get cheated on, but not beat on. My daughter just taking. She got a boyfriend. She want me to meet him. Be nice. Just don't hit her. Love her. I don't give a fuck what you do. Just don't hit her. You can cheat on her. I don't give a damn. Whatever. Just don't hit her. Daughter and a daddy, bro. That's different, bro. Like a mom and a son. Like a mom and a son, bro. Everybody talking about the cheat on the beat on the thing or whatever. Uh, I'm not the type of daddy gonna get my my daughter's relationships about about no cheating or nothing like that. But if you beat on it, then that's a different thing. That's my problem. A lot of y'all come in. Y'all ain't got no daddy. Okay, before anyone says anything, I just like we don't listen to niggas named Boozy. Okay, go. <laughs> Yes, we do. He's a part of the culture. From the South. <laughs> Whatever, nigga. Don't take any advice from any nigga named Boozy. It's as simple as that. You must, don't what say that in the South. <laughs> that video was kind of long. <laughs> but was he wrong, though? Was he saying yeah. that... Was he saying that... I couldn't understand what he was saying. He, he was basically saying, you can go ahead and cheat on my daughter, just don't beat her. Right? That's, that's dumb as shit. It's like I hope that this culture kind of normalized cheating nowadays. Like, dang, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to wish like that kind of misfortune on my own child. Like, okay, fine, you can like, get cheated on, like get your heart broken that way, but don't get beat on or something. I, yeah, you are so sensitive. But it, no, because like, y'all may want to be cheated on. But we agreed to side chicks. No. No, we we didn't. You, you know Anton and you did. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all, hold on, y'all. Before I get on camera, I would love to get all of the women's perspectives first. Anton, if you got cheated on, you go cry in the car. Exactly. If who got cheated on? <laughs> all these men would cry in the car. If they got. If who got cheated on? <laughs> I feel like uh, people are taking it as him saying that he was encouraging someone to cheat on his daughter. I don't think that's what he was trying to say. I think he was saying, like, between the two, I guess cheating is more acceptable or it's okay. I'd rather you cheat on my daughter than you hit my daughter. I don't want, of course, I don't want you to cheat on my daughter. I don't want my heart, my daughter to be heartbroken or whatever. But I'm not about to come beat your ass because you cheated on my daughter. If you put my if you put your hands on my daughter, then that's a different story. I think that people are just taking it the wrong way. And of course, coming from Boosie with all his antics, it's just like I don't, I don't know. Say it. Say it with your chest <laughs> out. <laughs> it's just people was just taking it the wrong way. And he didn't say he didn't say it, I guess, how it should have been said or how it should have been taken. In my opinion. Because when he said it, I was like, okay. Yeah, I'd rather be cheated on than get hit on, but I'd rather not have either one of them. I, I knew you were smart. I knew you were smart. The way you handled <laughs> AR, I knew you were smart. That's why I'm going to do just like that. Sad. She's more articulate than Boozy was. That was good. I couldn't understand. That's them, da them, got them Dallas girls got them human girls. That's me. But I just don't get that. Like, as a father, like, or even like a mother, I wouldn't even say the whole beat part, like, at all. I wouldn't even bring that into conversation. Just don't, don't cheat on my son. Don't cheat on my girl. Wait, why not? Why wouldn't you put the beat part in? Don't beat on my girl. Don't beat on my my son. I wouldn't even bring up the cheating part if, like, I don't know. Hmm. He is as a person, though. He's just that's how he is. You know how he could, he expresses himself, but. I totally agree. He's saying, you know, don't hit my girl, but you know, the cheating, I mean, that's a whole different ball game, you know. You know, saying like you said, he's gonna get involved if you put, you know, put your hands on his daughter. I can agree with him. When we accept the minimum as a standard, that becomes a standard. And but you but you just did it though. With the, the, the no, that's what you're doing right now. No, he's right. <laughs> he called he caught you. He caught you again. <laughs> no, but AR is right. I think that the stuff you were talking about, Anton, we're normalizing stuff that we never normalized 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and that, and now this stuff, the cheating is becoming norm normalized. You know? Y'all think he wasn't getting cheated he, on? He, 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 was just he was just hypocritical. I feel like a long time ago, people 
dated or courted and then got married people nowadays just hopping from person to person dating aimlessly it's different people would and still I feel like it wasn't out there as it is now how can you it just wasn't as, fun as it is now people would stay in whole married relationships and get cheated on for the sake of the marriage people were still getting cheated on it's i don't feel like it's any different outside of everything being out in the open everybody is in everybody else's business now right right well but i, I just got a question and this is just a general question is it really a man because did we condition men to say that it was wrong for them to have multiple different women no, I'm asking a <laughs> whenever I want to ask an intelligent question and I want to bridge a different part of the conversation because this feeds into the to the video, but in a general sense, and this ain't got nothing to do with nobody here. I'm just saying in a general sense, did how did or did we condition men to not have can somebody mute when they're not talking? Can we did we condition men? To act like women, is it a woman? Is it a woman? A women's trait to just be monogamous in a general sense? I think uh, that was introduced when Christianity was introduced to society. When what was introduced? Christianity, or you know, um, <clears throat> Anton, well, why don't you cheat? Well, let me tell you why I asked this question because I interviewed this guy. Um, a couple weeks ago, and I've been having conversations with a lot of different people that's come to the studio and interview over the last few weeks. One of them was this guy named Yaki Awaken. He's really, really a pop popular dude, uh, and he does a lot of health related stuff, and you know what I'm saying, and whatever, so on and so forth. And he was having this conversation, and he was basing it off of our historical significance, you know, how we lived our lives, you know, over yesteryear versus today or whatever. And I'm trying to understand. Not saying it is right or wrong, but I'm just asking a question. At what point did we say that it wasn't okay for a man um, to A, either have multiple different wives or whatever, so on and so forth? Because it's always been normal for a woman, one woman to be monogamous with a man. But at what point did we normalize it in our society for where men are supposed to only be with one woman? And again, I'm not saying it is right or wrong. I'm just asking, how did that come about in our culture and why did we normalize it? Can I can I say speak on it to one from uh I'm down here in Alabama, so you know it was a thing for with our granddads to have multiple women. I think when society opened the doors up for women to have different outlets to provide for themselves down here, that's when it became a thing like, no, nah, I don't have to accept uh, a man that has multiple women. Uh but I think that's when it kind of started when women had different outlets to uh provide for themselves and the doors open for them to you know do that so i think that's when it started i i, res I respect your opinion but you're one thousand percent incorrect like this word is like a thousand years old it's not what some word? monogamy like this is like this isn't new. but did it only apply to women is what i'm asking, what I'm asking. i think so it's a question quentin stop doing like this all the time <laughs> It's just, it, no, it's serious. It's just, it's just a it's general just question. Like, when we, we, make it, 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 we, we, we make it so hard on something that's so simple. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's just, it, it's, it's old. It, if it, it goes it's against around nature, for everyone. If it goes against your nature, is it that simple? Yeah. If we, if we domesticate, if we domesticate a lion, is it that simple? Because its nature is to still hunt. Its nature is oh. to still operate the way that it operates. I was and again, I'm not I'm not saying that it, it makes it sense or it doesn't make sense. I'm asking the question and that is it why at, nobody answered the question. When did it become normal? I told you like when Christianity was introduced. Look it up. Yeah, no. Well, Christianity was introduced when some king left his wife and in he wanted Greece, to divorce. In Rome thousands of years ago. Hmm. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, so socially, the, the real question is: Do y'all expect for a man that y'all get with to be faithful for y'all for the entirety of y'all relationship? Yes. If he don't want to be faithful, he he want to do a no, poly no. That's not the question, Q. Do you well, expect for yes. a man? Do you expect for a man that you get with 
mm-hmm. especially if he's an awesome dude, to mm-hmm. be faithful for you for the entirety of the relationship. Yes. 